This video will show you how to do an analysis of variance in R. The data we're working with are iron levels um, at different water depths collected from Chesapeake Bay in Maryland. And so my first step is I'm just going to read in the data using read.csv, and this is stored in my directory locally. So I'll run that, and I'll open up the data set here on the right. And you'll see we have different depths. Uh, so these range from zero, uh, basically at the surface of the water, um, all the way down to 100. Uh, so we've sampled um, iron levels between zero, the water surface, all the way down to 100 feet. Uh, and so we've also sampled at 50 feet, 40 feet, 30 feet, and 10 feet. And then we have the iron levels here um, in the rightmost column. And these levels are in milligrams per liter. So those are the data we're working with. You'll see that at each depth, we have three observations of iron levels. My next step is, this is not common um, for every data set that we use, uh, but I want to convert the water depth variable to a factor. And the reason I want to do that is because R, right now, thinks that my water depth variable is a number. And it's not necessarily a number. I might be interested in knowing um, how far down I've sampled, but the water depth is really a factor, and that's how we'll use it in the ANOVA. So it's really a variable that represent, uh, represents some category, in this case, the depth going down into the lake. And so I'll run that line of code, and now I'm ready to run my analysis of variance. So to run my analysis of variance, I'm going to call the output something. In this case, I'm going to call it iron.aov. And again, I'm going to use the LM function. This is the same function we used when we did regression. My response variable is the iron level, and this is that value in milligrams per liter. And my independent variable is the factor variable for the water depth. Uh, and so that goes to the right of the variable. And then I'm going to say data equals iron underscore CB, the name of my data set. And then I'm going to say, um, use the ANOVA function. Um, and use the ANOVA function, it will provide the ANOVA table on that object that I just provided. And so this will run the analysis of variance for me. And so I'll click play. And here uh, is my output. So what I'm looking at now is basically what I've got is the ANOVA table. Uh, I know the uh, two rows of data here. Um, this is the uh, the treatment, um, the water depth, um, and the sums of squares and everything related to the water depth. And then I have the error or the residuals um, as well. And so my degrees of freedom are here, my sums of squares in the next column, my mean square, or the sums of squares divided by the degrees of freedom uh, in the middle column. Then I have the value for F, uh, and then I have a p-value. And what I notice about this p-value is it is very, very small. Uh, and that's represented by such a large value for f. And so in this case, I can conclude um, and basically reject my null hypothesis and claim that at least one of those water depths is different from the other. And so that's how we conduct an analysis of variance in R.